looking too bad. It's certainly not been too bad today, Jeff. It's been feeling cooler and fresher than it has been over the last couple of days. And we had some lovely weather watcher pictures coming in. Some lovely sunrises this morning. This one taken just outside of St. Mary's Lighthouse by our weather watcher, Etta. Some of the dust from the Canadian wildfires is contributing to those sunrises and sunsets. And then through the afternoon, we saw blue skies coming through and just a little bit of that fair weather cumulus cloud bubbling up. Thank you to Kendall J for sending in that picture. Now, as you move into Friday, things are going to be changing a little bit. It's a cloudier day all in all, and we will have some outbreaks of rain. So let me show you the setup. Let me show you what's going on on the pressure chart. So as you move into Friday, we can see we have a couple of weather fronts which are going to be moving through. The cold front will be bringing some outbreaks of quite heavy rain. And then behind it, we've got these isobars which are quite tightly packed together. So it is going to be a windier scenario into the weekend. Now, for the rest of this evening, it's a fairly quiet night. One or two showers developing, the cloud rolling in from the west as we head towards dawn tomorrow morning and temperatures dropping to between around 9 and 11 or 12 degrees Celsius. Now, if you're on the east coast, you might well wake up to a little bit of sunshine, but it's not going to be lasting long because that cloud is pushing its way eastwards and into the afternoon we'll start to see these outbreaks of rain. Now for many the rain will be fairly light and patchy, drizzly stuff but later in the day, especially across Cumbria and perhaps parts of Northumberland you can see the rain starts to get a bit heavier and more persistent. It will turn windier as well and temperatures will reach around 16 to 18 degrees. So feeling a little bit cooler than it has been today. So that's Friday. What about Friday night? Well, that rain continues to pile in. Eventually, it will clear its way off into the North Sea and we should have clearer skies developing behind. Still quite windy, with temperatures dropping to between 12 and 13 degrees for most. Now, Saturday is going to start off on a dry, bright note for the most part. There will be a little bit of cloud coming and going, but quite a lot of sunshine. And although we've got these showers just dotting around into Saturday afternoon, because the wind is still quite brisk, those showers will move through fairly quickly. So Saturday is going to feel very much like today it has been quite a bit of sunshine, a bit of fair weather cloud and the chance of some showers. And those temperatures around 18 or 19 degrees, but that wind speed, just fairly brisk. It will just take the edge off those temperatures a little bit. Now let's have a look a little bit further ahead then at the pressure chart as we move through the second half of the weekend. On Sunday you can see we've still got low pressure up to the north of the UK and so we're bringing in this northwesterly flow of air with those isobars quite tightly packed together. So this is what's going to be happening as we move into Sunday. Generally another dry and fine day. There will be some good spells of sunshine but the chance of one or two showers and the showers most likely across parts of Cumbria. You can see from the wind arrows here that it is still going to be a breezy day on Sunday. We could have gusts up to 40 miles per hour. Then into the start of next week, it stays fairly unsettled. Temperatures still around 17 or 18 degrees, but the chance of some showers. Jeff. Okay, Jen, thank you very much.